Let's have a closer look at achiral deosteroisomers. So the first thing is we have to ask ourselves, is this a chiral molecule? And just remember that chiral is an adjective for an object or molecule in and of itself. Being chiral doesn't mean you need another object or molecule to be something in relation to. So just think about that. Chiral is an adjective for an object, whereas an antimer and deosteroisomer refers to the relationship between two objects. And that is a key point, let me repeat it. Chiral is an adjective for one object that is independent of anything else. And an antimers and deosteroisomers refer to the specific type of relationship between two objects. So we have the object and we have its reflection. And we're going to rotate the reflection. And we find that yes, indeed, these two objects are identical. And therefore, this object is a chiral. Maybe it'll help if I put two hydrogens on here. We, you know that there's two hydrogens on each of these coming out. There we go. So just again, there's the object. There is its reflection. And by rotating the reflection, we can see that they are identical. Now I'm going to show you another object, more like this, and I'm going to show you its reflection. And again, you have to ask yourself, are these two objects identical or not? So we rotate the reflection, and we see again that these two objects are identical. So this object is an achiral object. So now the question is, what is the relationship between the first object and the second object? So what you've got to say to yourself is, these two objects are made up of the same stuff. They also have the same connections between the stuff. But they're not identical. And they're also not mirror images of each other. And therefore they're not enantiomers. And if they're not enantiomers, and they are stereoisomers, then they're deostereoisomers. So thank you very much for watching, and let me know what you think, if you have any thoughts or any questions.